Hi there, it's Annie from the Youth Room at the BB Library, and I'm so glad that you could join me for another virtual story time today. It's a new year, it is the year 2021, and I'm very excited to share some new stories with you this year. In addition to enjoying some stories together, we will also sing some songs and do a craft together as well. Now this week, I've been thinking a lot about my community, and a community is a group of people that has something in common. So you can have a community with your neighbors you all have in common that you live in the same neighborhood. You might have a community with people that you go to school with, you go to the same school. Or your friends, because you have common interests and things that you enjoy together, right? So I wanted to share with you today a couple stories that I like that are all about ways that we can bring a little bit of magic to our community and really brighten people's day. So the first story I wanted to share with you today is Extra Yarn, and this was written by Mac Barnett, and it was illustrated by John Classen. And Extra Yarn is all about a young girl who finds a magic box of yarn and uses that to sort of change her community and bring a little bit of color to it. I also want to share with you today, The Power of One, Every Act of Kindness Counts. And this book was written by Trudy Ludwig, and it was illustrated by Mike Cuarto. And this is all about how different acts of kindness that we do for people in our community to show them they're welcome and we're happy to have them there are kind of like planting a seed. It can be small at first, but then it can turn into a big garden. So in addition to reading these books, I also have a craft to share with you today. And this craft is inspired by the book Extra Yarn. So I thought we could use a little bit of yarn to create our own popsicle stick pals with sweaters. <laughs> so to make these, you'll just need a couple of different things. You will need some popsicle sticks, of course, for a popsicle stick craft. Um, I have big colorful ones, but any kind of popsicle stick works for this. You can use small and skinny ones and they can be colored or the plain wood. You will also need some colorful yarn or string. If you don't have those, ribbon also works. You might have some leftover ribbon from all of the gift giving that you might have done in December. And you will need a marker. I just used a black one, but you can use any color you want or lots of colors too. You will need a pair of scissors to cut some of that yarn. And last but not least, you're gonna need just a little bit of tape. So we'll go over how to make our popsicle stick pals with sweaters <laughs> after we read a couple stories and sing some songs together. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we jump into our stories, let's start by saying hello to each other. And we'll do that with our song, Hello Friends. And we're going to use a little bit of American Sign Language to help us sing this one. So I'll show you the different signs that we're going to use, and then we'll jump in and sing our song together. So the first sign that we need is hello. And I'm just going to take my hand and give a little salute. Hello. Friends, I'm going to take my two pointer fingers and I'm going to just tap them. A little crisscross. Tap, tap. Friends, it's time. I'm going to tap my wrist to say time. To say, I'm going to point to my lips for say. Hello. And I'll do my salute again. Let's go ahead and sing together. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. That was great. Uh, how about we wake up a couple of our body parts now before we jump into our first story. Let's start by waking up our hands and let's wake them up with some claps. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 flap. We wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. 
Now let's wake up our torsos. The torso is what we call the middle of our body. We're gonna wake up our torso. We're gonna give it a little twist to wake that torso up. Ready? We wake up our torsos with a twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. We wake up our torsos with a twist, twist, twist. And we wiggle our waggles away. Let's do one big one to get all of those wiggles out. Ready? <gasps> oh. Well, I feel nice and awake now. How about you? Let's go ahead and start with our first book for today. And that is Extra Yarn. And Extra Yarn was written by Matt Barnett and it was illustrated by John Classen. All right, extra yarn. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too. But there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog, and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. Do you think Annabelle can knit a sweater for everyone in the class? Let's see. But it turned out she could. And she did, even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad, and for Mr. Pendleton, and for Mrs. Pendleton, and for Dr. Palmer, and for little Lewis. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat. And even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and for other animals too. Soon people thought, soon Annabelle will run out of yarn. Do you think she'll run out of yarn soon? She's knit a lot of sweaters. <gasps> but it turned out she didn't run out of yarn. So Annabelle made th sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Have you ever seen a mailbox wearing a sweater? Or a house wearing a sweater? That'd be a very big sweater, I think. <laughs> but 
that she's knitting them. Things began to change in that little town. What kind of changes do you notice? There's lots of colors on the houses now with all of those colorful sweaters. It's pretty different than the black and white town we saw at the beginning. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn. And people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke, who was very fond of clothes, sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house, and they stole the box and took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea back to his castle. The Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair, and then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. What do you think will be inside the box of yarn? <gasps> What's in there? Nothing. It's empty. His mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. And out goes the box of yarn. And off it sails. And look who found it. Annabelle. But it turned out she was happy after all. The end. So she brought a lot of color and happiness to everybody in town. She was very kind and generous, knitting all of those colorful sweaters, right? <laughs> well, before we read our next one, I need to get some of my wiggles out. Do you want to get some wiggles out with me? Can you wiggle your fingers? I'm going to wiggle my fingers a little bit like this. What about your toes? Can you do that with your toes? And how about your shoulders? Can you wiggle your shoulders a little bit? And this one's a little trickier. What about your nose? Can you wiggle your nose at all? <laughs> Let's put them all together, ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Phew. Now all the wiggles are out of me, and I'm as still as still can be. Let's go ahead and jump right into our next story. We have our little plant here. 
Now what's going on here? Well, I see a boy in a blue shirt and a girl in a yellow dress. What do you think's happening here? Looks like he's yelling. He looks pretty angry to me. And then over here, we have a girl in a pink shirt who's watching. Hmm. I know what's going on. And there's lots of trash over here, I see. And where's the boy going? He's going away. He looks kind of angry. It looks like he's stomping away. And what's the little girl doing in the yellow shirt? She's crying. Maybe she's a little sad. Maybe that hurt her feelings when the boy yelled. And over here, I see some more trash over here. And the girl in the pink shirt is watching. So let's see what happens in The Power of One, Every Act of Kindness Counts by Trudy Ludwig, illustrated by Mike Cuarto. Sometimes one can feel like a small and lonely number, but don't let this little number fool you. One is a lot bigger and more powerful than you think. And what's happening now? I see a heart here, so I think the girl in the pink shirt is saying something nice to our friend in the yellow shirt. One, after all, is the starting point for change. Let's see your teardrop fell. Splash! Let's see what happens. One good listener can make even the smallest voice heard. So we see where her tear landed. And what's blooming? out of where the ground was watered. A little plant. One shy smile can lead to a friendship. And the plant grows even bigger. One caring friend can open the door for several more. What do you think the kids are doing? Coming in, there's lots of trash and boxes here. And let's see, what do they have? They have a wheelbarrow. I see a shovel, a hoe for gardening. Hmm, let's see what they're up to. What are the kids doing? They're picking up and who's come back? The boy in the blue shirt. What do you think he's doing now? One sincere apology can help heal big and little hurts. So the boy's making an apology. What does that mean? An apology means he's saying, I'm sorry. One warm hug can lift our spirits up when we're feeling down. So it looks like he said, I'm sorry, and she accepted his apology. So now they can be friends again. And look what's happening to that tiny seed that's growing from the ground. Look at all these flowers. One thoughtful idea can bring a community together. What are the kids in the community doing? I see a watering can. I see a hoe. I see some seeds. 
Lots of green things. I think they might be planting a garden. One handful of seeds can sprout into a garden. <laughs> They're all working together to make it grow. One harvested garden can make a bountiful feast. Acts and words of kindness do count. And it all starts with one. And this is a nice book too. If you take this out of the library, there's also information in the back on things that every one of us can do to help our communities too. You can read all about those in the back. I'm not gonna jump into it right now, but they talk about how we can plant seeds of kindness in our community as well. Well, thank you so much for enjoying those stories with me. How about we sing a couple of songs together now? Let's start by moving our hands a little bit and let's start off by doing open, shut them. Ready? We'll sing it two times together. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide, ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. One more time, ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide, ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> Great job. Now for our next song, this is a new one I just learned, and this is called Five Little Snowmen. And I like this rhyme because it helps me count down from the number five all the way down to one. So we'll go five, four, three, two, one. As each snowman melts, in the bright sun. And this is a really fun one for winter, so I wanted to share it with you. Even though we don't have any snow on the ground right now, it's still fun to pretend, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and we'll start with five little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and stayed all day. And one little snowman melted away. How many now? Four little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and stayed all day. And one little snowman melted away. Three little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and stayed all day till one little snowman melted away. Two little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and stayed all day. Then one little snowman melted away. Last one, only one snowman left. One little snowman standing just so with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and stayed all day till that little snowman melted away. <laughs> Great job! Now, how about 
we do if you're happy and you know it. I always like to do this when I restart story times for the new season because I'm really happy to be joining that you're joining me for story time again. So let's do if you're happy and you know it. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! <laughs> Great job! Well, let's do one last song together and then we'll get started on our craft for the day. And our last song that we'll sing will be Goodbye, Friends. And this is very similar to the song we started with called Hello, Friends. But this time, instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye. And you might see my hands moving. We're going to use some American Sign Language to help us sing this one again. So I'll go over the signs that we need first, and then we can sing goodbye friends together. So the first sign that we need is goodbye. And I'm just gonna give my hand a little wave, goodbye. Friends, I'm gonna take my two point pointer fingers and give them a little tap, tap, crisscross, friends. It's time, I tap my wrist for time, to say, I point to my lips for say, goodbye. And I give a little wave again for goodbye. Ready? Let's sing together. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for singing with me. It's always fun to sing a song with our friends, isn't it? <laughs> so let's go ahead and we'll get started on our craft for today. And today we are making some popsicle stick pals with sweaters. <laughs> so for this craft, you are going to need some popsicle sticks. And these can be any size or any color popsicle stick that you want. You will want some colorful yarn or string. You can even use ribbons if you have those. You will need a pair of scissors to cut some yarn. You will need some markers. I have a black one, but you can use any color or multiple colors if you want. And last but not least, we're gonna need a little bit of tape for this. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get a popsicle stick. So I'm gonna use a red one right here. And then you'll wanna get your markers and you can draw a little face on your popsicle stick. Now for my first one that I made, I decided to make a little dog because I was thinking of all of the different animals in the story extra yarn that Annabelle made clothes for or sweaters for. And she made her dog Mars a sweater and then she knit sweaters for all of the dogs in the neighborhood. And she also knit sweaters for all of the cats too. So I'm gonna do a cat for my next one here. You can do any animal that you want, or maybe you even wanna make a person with yours. You might make yourself or maybe a friend or a family member. And then once you draw on your person or animal onto your popsicle stick for your little pal, you wanna get your colorful yarn or string. Now, first I'm gonna take the end of this and I am going to tape it just so. Actually, I'm gonna tape it to the back of my popsicle stick. And I just need a very small piece of tape to help this string stay in place. 
And now I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna wrap this all around. And this is nice too because you can use as much yarn or as little yarn as you like. And you might even wanna use different colors during this. You might wanna use some different types of string or maybe you wanna use yarn and ribbon. You can get pretty creative with this. And this is a really good skill too for exercising those great motor skills and helping us learn how to use our hands in different ways. There's lots and lots of wrapping that you can do. I like to give mine a lot of yarn on here because I always get pretty chilly in the winter, so I like to wear my sweaters. So I'm gonna have my little popsicle stick pals wear some nice, thick, warm sweaters as well. And when you get to the end and you decide, this is great for my sweater, I am all set, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut the yarn right at the end. There we go. And to make sure that this yarn doesn't come undone, I'm gonna use another very, very thin piece of tape just to hold that yarn in place right at the bottom there. And there you go. Now my little kitty cat is nice and warm in this yarn sweater. And I've got two little popsicle stick pals. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing some stories, singing some songs, and making our Popsicle Stick Pal crafts together as well. I had a great time, and I hope I will see you again next week for another virtual story time. See you later.